All right, I know it seems like we spend way much more time preparing our loom for weaving than actually weaving, but we are getting there. And a well-warped loom is gonna be a pleasure to weave on. Um, a loom that has very poor tension, you're not gonna have a lot of fun. So it's worth spending the extra time at this stage. So when I tie on to my front warping stick, I use small bundles. So what you'll notice is I tied each bundle, each color block is one bundle, and I'm gonna divide each of those bundles into two. It doesn't have to be exact, but you do want your bundles to be quite small. So I take my bundle, I'm gonna divide it in half. I'm gonna go over the warping stick, under the warping stick, and then I'm gonna tie a surgeon's knot. So I go around, go through that loop one time, and I'm gonna go through a second time and pull it tight. So I use a surgeon's knot because it's easy to undo and it's easy to tighten, and it will also let me tighten after I've started weaving if I need to. Hopefully you won't need to, but if you do need to, you can. So that's the first bundle. On my second bundle, and every, every bundle after that, I'm gonna take the outermost end so in this case, it's a hole. I'm gonna wrap it around the outermost end of the previous bundle, which is going to be a slot. I'm just gonna wrap it around. And then I'm gonna split my bundle in half-ish, wrap it around that front warping stick, and let's go over that surgeon's knot again. So we're gonna wrap it around once, go through the hole, go back through that loop, and pull it tight. So the reason I do this cross here is because it makes it easier to spread the warp when it's time to spread the warp right before you start weaving. And when you do put those first few picks in, or in this case we're going to use warping sticks to spread our warp, you're going to see those crossed threads below the warping stick and that's exactly what you're supposed to see. At this point, you don't have to pull everything really tight. You really just want to get it tied on. And after it's tied on, you'll have to go back and adjust your tension so that everything feels about the same tension, that you don't have any soft spots. Again, the tightness isn't important. It's the evenness. And when you're feeling it, it's better to go back and feel it behind the reed. But don't even worry about feeling it until you have everything tied on. So we're on to our next bundle here. We take that outermost end, wrap it around the outermost of the previous bundle, split the bundle in half. We're going over top of the warping stick. We're going underneath the warping stick. We come up on either side of the bundle and we're gonna do that surgeon's knot. There are other ways of warping your loom. I think this is a great way to learn. This is how I learned. I really like it. It's still my favorite way, but there is something called lashing. Lashing works really well when you have a slippery warp. And I've just been working on a new uh, combination of lashing and tying on that I've been really pleased with. And, and you can find blog posts about it. And uh, you may have seen pictures on Instagram where I'm using some different uh, string handles or some magnets that help with uh, adjusting with the um, sort of a hybrid tie-on lash-on method. So we're going to do this all the way across the loom and then we're going to adjust the tension. I'll be back after that and we will spread the warp and actually start weaving.